Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I want to do another page in this beautiful book that I was sent from a subscriber in December um, and it was a get well present and I love it, I absolutely love it. In fact, I love it so much, excuse my arm, but I went on and ordered Animals in the Forest one, which is equally as cute. Anyway, so the last time you saw this book, we did a page together. We did the polar bear at Christmas time and did it with paint and a few of the Calor coloured pencils, which worked beautifully once I was warm. So today I want to do the girl in the bath. <laughs> well, the cat's having fun in the bathroom, should I say. Um, I'm going to use my Pablo pencils today, my Caran d'Ache Pablo pencils, just because they've been a little bit neglected and they are such beautiful pencils and they colour perfectly. This book can take all sorts of stuff. Oh, it's really beautiful paper. So I'm hoping that because I've done my planning, she says, that it's not going to take us too long to get through it. The little cats I'm doing as Siamese cats, so they're going to be all um, the same colours, but when you colour them, they kind of come out a little bit differently and they just look really cute. So I have practised. As you know, I don't come on camera and not. <laughs> okay, so I think the first thing we should do is... Um, let's do the bath and her skin. Now, these are the colours that I've picked out to do her skin. And let me just add again, if the video's blurry, folks, if you go, just look down here at the bottom half of the screen, there is a little cog wheel. If you click on that and change the setting from automatic to a lower setting, it will bring back um, normal vision. So I don't know what's happening with it, but um, if it is blurry at all, then that will help you. So, a lot of these colours you'll be able to use with your pencil sets. Um, very familiar with, there's lots of, um, there's lots of, Sorry, there's lots of, just putting my phone on silent. There's lots of videos on my channel with us colouring skin. So you could just change that up. So I'm going to go in with Burnt Sienna. I'm just going to do a really light, a really light touch of Burnt Sienna. Now these pencils, if you, um, if you haven't had, if you haven't had a go with them, it's worth trying and getting some open stock ones because they work like no other pencil I know in terms of um, you lay down this colour and the next one over the top just, it's really hard to explain. It's like, it's almost like you're painting with them. It will change that tone instantly. There's no effort involved. Um, I love them personally, but so we're just going in here with our burnt sienna and I'm just doing it as you can see quite lightly. Do a little bit around that bubble because I'm going to go in there, in there with the uh, white gel pen. So we can afford to um, we can afford to make it a little darker because I'm going to go in with a gel pen. Let's put a little bit more down here. And we'll have a little bit at the back of her leg here. And in there. Like that. Okay. Now we're going to switch to our salmon pink. Just check, I've got the colours. Yeah. Um, I don't use, like I say, I haven't used them. They've been sorely neglected. And they are, I think, for me, pencils wise, favourite pencils wise, these days, having coloured for 
a few years now, um, my preferences have changed and I think my favourite pencils would have to be the three P's for sure, which are Prismas, Pablos, Polychromos. Um, they, um, you can get them open stock, so you can buy them individually. When I say open stock, that's what I mean. You can buy, buy them individually. Um, they just don't, I don't know, they just don't let you down. There are some really good budget pencils, don't get me wrong. Like, I love the Black Widows. I do love my Black Widows. Um, what else? What other ones? Um, all the Artex ones, I've, which I have just purchased. The 126 set. Um, they were going to send them to me, but I never heard back from them. So I just went ahead and, and got them. I think um, they've got a little bit bigger now, so we've seen the big channels get them, like um, the Art Gear Guide, he did a review on them, and other bigger channels, you know, so maybe they just, maybe they just don't need poor old Lucy Just Adds Colour anymore. They're too big now. But I do like them, so I went ahead and brought the 126 set. And I thought um, we could try the next page we do. We could try the um, Rooms of Wonder, Joanna Bassford, and we could try the Artex ones in there. If you're up for that, let me know. I know my good friend Emmy is desperate for me to get on with Rooms of Wonder <coughs> and do a page in it. Um, where I've been poorly you know they take such a lot of planning because there's such a lot of detail in them that um, I just you know you have to take a step back don't you okay anyway we're going in with granite rose now I know that looks darker but um, we're going to go straight over that colour And it's just a beautiful, soft, subtle colour. So I'm just going to go in and make sure that I blend those colours together properly. I find personally, and this is just again my personal opinion, I am not a colour pencil expert, um, I'm not a colouring expert, this is a hobby for me and I just love sharing it with you guys, but I find like some pencils, we do the small circular motion to get a nice smooth finish, um, I find with the Pablos that doesn't work, I, I find more linear strokes more gentle linear strokes works much better rather than little circular motions they are a beautiful set of pencils my hands are aching <laughs> So can you see, oh my hand's really aching, that I'm going over um, with lines rather than circular motions and they just, for me, they just seem to respond better smooth, to give you a smoother finish than the circular motions with Pablo's. We're getting there. And I'm going to use a little bit of cream to blend it all through and for some highlight. Takes a bit of time. Oh, hand ache. <laughs> oh, 
and I will have to keep I will have to go over and smooth it all through. I'm just working on that. Yeah, so if you don't have Pablo's and you're thinking, oh Lucy, how do I do the skin? Um go and have a look in my colour with me videos. There are loads where we've done skin together. She's coming, if my hand will keep working. And this is why when um, I use my, um, I haven't got them to hand, my those new Ahuhu markers, they would work brilliantly in this book. And this is why I do it. For me, the main reason is um, pain. That makes my um because it makes my arm my hands ache so badly. But I tell you what, one thing that's really cool about this book, if you haven't noticed, there's a face there. I think that's like the only face that we get. If we look at like look at the right, you can't see him. You've got a bit of skin, but you can't see his full face. Her face is covered, so any of the faces in here, see if we can find another one. Like she's got a cat covering most of it, her face is hidden. So if you're not a big skin fan, I think this is the most skin in the book. Look, she's hidden. They're just so cool. I love, absolutely love it. I, I do apologise, sorry. I love the the paper, I love the designs. So I'm going to have to keep working on that, uh, just to smooth it out. I'm going to take a little bit of cream, just going to make sure it's clean, and I'm going to work that in for our blends. And don't want lines on this, otherwise she's going to look like she's got hairy legs. <laughs> you never know, that might be why she's in the bath. So you just have to keep working at it like any skin, just to get it all blended in and smooth, which I will do. I don't want to sit here and bore you to death. Okay, let's have a look at the bath. The bath itself I am doing in light grey. So I want a white bath. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to put a little bit of shadow in, in certain places. So, for example, round this cat, I'm going to give him a little bit of a, a shadow. Come down there a bit. Along the top, especially under his little paws. Up behind her legs. That's water, bath water. It's a beautiful subtle colour. I hope you can pick up on that on camera. I just want it to give us our shadow. And then, because the cats are going to be dark, because they're Siamese, I'm going to do them in proper Siamese colours. Um, I'm going to do the tiles in um, like a shocking turquoisey green, so it really sort of lifts it, the mat, lifts it out. Okay, going to come down this leg. 
let it fade out into nothingness. And we'll have a little bit at the side here. Okay, we'll just deepen up that cap shadow. And we need a little bit more here. Look at their little faces. How could you not love them? Aren't they? Oh, I just I fell in love with this page. And I've been dying to colour it, so I thought I'd share it with you. There we go. Okay. Let's put that to one side. And I'm just going to use a good old trusty white prisma. And I'm just going to use that on the edges of that Pablo pencil just to it will bring it out so that it fades into the white so we keep that white looking bathtub So it will just fade out, just so it looks like I say, like we've got um, a white bathtub. Now, especially when we get the um, dark tiles on there, that will look even better. Okay, bit of smoothing out. All right, so. What I'm going to do now, folks, is go and finish off her skin really quickly. I'm just going to keep blending with the colours that we use, the cream and the, um, where are they? How do I manage to mess up so badly? Those colours. I'm just going to keep smoothing out with those until I'm happy. And then we'll meet back up and we'll get these tiles and these kiddies underway. All right, I'll see you in a second. Okay. After much blending, I've managed to get her legs as smooth as I can. We've done the bathtub. Now, I'm going to do the tiles next because that's probably our biggest job. This was our hardest, I think, was getting the legs done. And we're going to do the tiles. So, I haven't gone mental, folks. You're going to have to bear with me and trust me here. Um, because the Siamese cats are going to be... Um, I want them to stand out. And because they're going to be brown... I don't know, I just wanted a bright colour <laughs> and it just seemed to work when I practised. So we're using opaline, I think that's how you say it, opaline green, um, we're using light green and um, jade green. Now this is what makes the Pablo stand out, is these gorgeous sets of greens and pale colours. Although you could use aqua, light aqua and then one of the, uh, and then a white just to blend that through. So that if you have say prismas for example so okay let's go for it there'll be no turning back now folks so i'm going to pick this tile here uh, we'll just come in a little bit i don't want to lose you so because it's quite a squishy book so i'm going to pick this tile and i'm going in with my opaline green along the bottom and then up this edge here And I actually really like them. I don't know that I'd want them in my bathroom this bright, but um, I actually really like the way it comes out. So next we're going in with light green. I'm just checking I've got the right colour. And I'm so used to going in little circles, but the Pablos respond so much better if you don't, in my opinion, again. So we're going to bring that beautiful light green out, go over that opaline green. And these pencils are supposed to be waterproof, so if you wanted to do any watercolour over it once you've coloured, you could. And then we're going in with jade green. And again, we're going over the whole thing. 
backtracking. And this is what I mean about those Pablos, just the way they, the colour changes and they just sort of shift and blend, It's they're just amazing. Okay, I'm going to go back in with my light green now, because that jade green knocks it back. Okay, and I'm just going to help now to blend that through with our opaline green. So I'm just literally tickling the page to get rid of any blend line. There we go. And I just think when we've got a page of those bright tiles and then we have the browns with the blue eyes, oh, I think it's just going to look awesome. So we'll do another one together. Let's do the one under the shelf, okay? Can you see everything? Yeah. Okay. So, I nearly messed it up then. So I'm going in with our opaline green. And you see how the colours changed? How, from that tile to this tile, just how blending with the Caran d'Ache pencils Caran dash Pablo pencils, should I say. They just, I don't know, they just have a way about them that you can make so many different tones and shades with the pencils you've got. Okay, light green. And notice I go back over at the bits that we've already coloured because it shifts that colour, helps us blend. Doing this one a little darker because it's under the shelf. And then we'll go in with our jade green. And we'll go over the whole thing. Then we'll backtrack a little bit. We'll put our light green back in. And then if we just need to help out that green, just really lightly tickle the page. Again. And then back over with our jade green. There we go. What do you think? I think it's going to look awesome, people. I think you're just going to have to trust me. Because then the bubbles are going to stand out. Okay. So, We've got a candle going on here, so we're just going to change it up. We're going to keep the same colours, but we're going to add a couple of new ones just to give that light from the candle glow. So, we've got light green and canary yellow. So what I'm going to do is take where I want the glow from my candle with the light green. I'm going to put that in like that and that's going to give us our that will help to blend in those green tones when we do the tiles okay so then canary yellow can come in we will add some i'm going to add some more color to that flame but at the moment i'm just putting that in with a little bit going down onto the candle pot and then we'll go back in with our light green okay and then we'll change back to our usual tile colours so here I'm going to take the light green and where I've got that um, what colour was it hang on a minute how are they both light green? Well, they are. Okay, so I've put the numbers next to them. So I'm going to take light green 181. I'm going to start to bring that colour in. Okay, and in there. So that's our mid tone for the tiles. And then we can go back over that with our jade. So jade green. Put 
bring that out. Okay, then we're going to work backwards. So we're going to go back to our opaline green. Oh God, I hope you can see all that. We'll go in with our opaline green. There we go. Then our light green. I don't understand that. They're both. Oh, I see what I've done. This one's malachite. So let me change that on here. This one's malachite green. But it does say light green on there. I don't know if you can see that. They're very difficult to pick up. But um, if I change that to malachite green. Sorry about that, folks. It does say light green there. We'll get rid of that. Okay, so back to our back to our malachite green, which is our middle tone. And then our jade green, which is our softest tone. And just the same way as we've done the others. Just go back in if we, because because I keep colouring in circles instead of doing the lines, doing it linear. We just do it like that. Okay, we do this one too. I'm just going to put a little bit of our opaline green in, just a little bit, and then in with our malachite. <coughs> There we go. Just keeps the tone of those tiles. And then here, on this one, we'll have it dark around the flower pot. So our opaline green. And a little bit down here. Same with this one. Then our malachite, which I have to just make, keep making sure I've got the right one now. Malachite. Malachite in there. <coughs> and then we'll put in our jade green. there and what we should have is the appearance of the same tiles but um, a little glow from our candle there excuse me I have to get a drink <coughs> okay folks now that should take a while there's our colors and there's the colors for our the light um, so I'm going to go off and do all the tiles and when we come back we will hopefully, well, we'll focus on something else. See you in a second. Okay, i finished our gorgeous tiles. I love it actually. I love the brightness of it and you can get away with that because it's a bathroom. So bubbles. We are going to use just two colours for the bath bubbles. We'll use different ones for the actual bubbles that are coming out. I am going to use the beautiful jade green and the... Um, not that one. And... Oh, here we go. And um, blue-ish pale. So we are going to use those two. Jade green. Let's just cover those up. So don't confuse you. Jade green and bluish pale. So I am going to, sorry I was just turning my phone on silent again. Okay. I'm going to go in with jade green. I'm just going to find where these bubbles end and I'm really just lightly putting this colour in.
going to have a lovely warm bubble bath. She's not going to be relaxed because our little cats won't leave her alone. So, so would you like to hear the saga of my story? I just got home from work. I don't know if I'd already said that. Um, gone to work this morning. It took me ages to defrost my car. My car is like over 20 years old. It's a little smart car. It's a pile of dung. And, and because I'm being very polite, because I'm on YouTube, that's as, that's as much as I will call it on here. Um, <laughs> so using our bluish pail, I'm just fin fish filling up this bubble. A bit dark around the edge, maybe. Yeah, so took me forever to get my poor little 20-year-old smart car defrosted. It's, it was that cold this morning that even the um, inside windscreen was frozen. And of course it has no mod cons like, um, it's got a, obviously a heated back windscreen but it doesn't have a heated front windscreen. I mean if it rains I get wet, <laughs> it drips through the sunroof, oh my goodness. But I only travel a short distance to work so and because of my anxiety I don't really drive many other places. But it is a lifeline for me because of the fibr fibromyalgia. So if I want to pop into town or get a bit of shopping, I can. That's about as, as far as I go. Um, just going back in. Yeah, well, the kids already laugh at me because it's old and it's a pile of dung at school. They think it's hilarious that I drive this little car. Um, and um, so I'm leaving at 11 o'clock when they all have their break. Of course... The flaming thing won't start. It's completely kaput. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I don't know whether the battery's gone because of the cold or what's wrong with it. But no, I have to leave school humiliated <laughs> and walk home in the freezing cold weather. What a joy. It's an absolute joy, I can tell you. All right. Then I'm going to take my trusty white Prisma and I'm just going to blend that through because I haven't done a very good job of that. So then I've come home again, thought, oh great, I can get warm, put the heating on, I've got my big snuggly jumper on. No, like an idiot, I've left my, th the thermostat for our heating was on the windowsill. And the sun is really strong, but still absolutely freezing. And um, so I can't, currently it's telling me that the house is 23 degrees Celsius. Well, I can only wish. So we had this issue before, and I just I put it on the windowsill because it's quite drafty, and it get and it gets the heat in, um, comes on quicker if you know what I mean, and, um, and then just keep forgetting to move it when I go to work or if the sun's out. So now I'm going to have to wait for the thermostat to reach proper room temperature because obviously I've moved it before we can have the heating on. Such a joy. Listen to me, right moaning old bag. <laughs> anyway, I'm home, I'm safe, and I'm sat happily colouring. Okay, so that's how I'm going to do those bubbles. These ones I'm going to do, I think, with a little bit of soft pink and blue in, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. <clears throat> um, and I want to put enough colour in that when I go over with white gel pen, um, that that colour shows up and it, they don't just sort of fade into nothingness. Okay, right, then the um, the bath water itself, we're going to use a little bit of the pastel blue. Let's turn that over. I don't want to confuse you. So pastel blue, the jade green and the bluish pale again. So I'm going in with pastel blue and there's my phone ring and I do apologise. Um, I'll call them back. Be quiet. I'm filming, don't you know? Um, yeah, so I'm going with a little bit of pastel blue. That's even worse, Lucy. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes, do you ever have days where you just think you should just never have got up? You should have just stayed in bed. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so I'm just going around there. I'm going to do a little bit on the bath, bath outline. Okay. 
a bit round her legs. Okay, then we'll go in with our bluish pale. Go over that. Sorry about my phone, folks. I'll get it in a minute. Bluish pale. And a little bit there. Oh dear. Someone sounds angry out there. Sounds like they're having a day like I am. I am fine, folks, honestly. All right, I'm going to have to answer this. Give me one second. Sorry about that. It was my husband. I was obviously panicking because I rang him to say that the car was was naffed up. <laughs> and um, he was ringing me back. Okay, so we put the pastel blue and the blue uh, and the and the blush bluish pale. And I, again, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the jade green to soften that. Just so that that bath water has a little bit of difference. There we go. And we can put some white in. If we choose a little bit of white. Okay, right. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to come out and have a look at the whole thing. So I'm going to come, I'm going to go off and finish all the bath bubbles. I'm not going to do the little bubbles. Then we're going to come back and I'll focus on our um, Siamese cats. But it will just give me a chance to get in through the door, get warm and calm. I feel very tense and could strangle someone, you know. <laughs> all right, my lovely friends, I will see you in a second. Okay, folks, thinking about it, I've made a few changes to these bubbles. Otherwise, they're just going to be too similar. So, we've got the original colours that I put in, which was the um, jade green, where's that? Um, pale blue. And we're going to add these colours too. So there it is. Let's cover them up. I don't want to confuse you. There we go. All right. So, and tiles, that needs to go, otherwise you're going to be very confused. Okay. So what I've done is added a few colours that we've used from around the image to put into the bubbles as well. So I'm going to do the same as we did before and just in random spots introduce some different colours. So if we look at this big one here, and if we start with our jade green, I hope that um, hasn't confused you, but um, otherwise it's just going to be too samey and they're not going to look much like bubbles like bubble bath bubbles okay so I'm going to put a bit of jade green in say down there and then I'm just going to randomly mix them up I'm going to take a bit of light green and maybe plop that there Then let's try a bit of a salmon pink. We'll put that up here because it can be coming off her leg. A bit of the colour from her leg. Like that. And then um, the bluish pale in there. You can cross over them, it's fine. And then we'll just put a little bit of canary yellow at the top there. So it's kind of picked those tones up from around the room. And then we're going to take my white prisma, or I'm going to take my white prisma, and I'm going to use that to help me push those colours in together. And it also keeps it quite pastel-y. Okay, so can you see I've just randomly put them in? 
just that was a big bubble so I've used all the colours. You don't necessarily need to use all the colours. So let's do um, let's do another one. So let's just try this little one. We will put in, let's do this one. Let's put in the bluish pale. And we'll do round there. So we don't need all the colours in there all the time. And because it's up by her legs, we can put our salmon pink in. Like that. And then maybe just a little bit of the light green. Let's just add that in this one, just because it's a smaller bubble. Okay, then we take our trusty Prisma and blend and smush. Until our heart is content. There. So I haven't changed the bath water up. I might put a little bit more white in there. Just the bubbles. And I think that's going to look so much more interesting than just, um, just it being plain green and blue. Because otherwise it's probably going to get lost a little bit in the picture. But I'm just using colours that we've already used. I hope that's okay. Right, my lovelies, I'm going to go off and do that uh, and then I'll come back to you and we'll get those little kitty cats done. All right, I'll see you in a second. Okay, folks, so this is how it came out. I'm quite pleased with it, although it looks like she's put some kind of multicoloured bath bomb in there. <laughs> quite pleased with it. These books are for having fun and I've certainly had that. So, Apologies to anybody that owns a Siamese cat if I get this wrong. I've never coloured one before, but we are going to have a go together. So the only thing you didn't see me do on camera, was a raised bits that I've left there, was outline um, with white gel pen. And I just used um, a jelly roll, um, one millimetre nib, because it, it they roll easier. When it gets clogged, as you can see, I just run it on my thumb to unclog it. Um, so that's all I did. Um, right, let's do these little fellas. I'm really nervous about this and I've I've practised and I really like the way they came out, but you know me. Got to be worrying about something, don't I? Okay. <laughs> all right, so let's run through the colours. That's their eyes. We'll come in so you can actually see what I'm talking about. And move over slightly. That's the colour I'm going to do their eyes. We're going to start with a base of light beige and work our way up. Cream we'll use to blend at the end and keep things nice and light. So I'm going to take my light beige. Let's start with this little fella. Hang on, I'm just going to shut down the picture that I did have. So if we start with this little fella, and I'm going to run light beige all over. Put a little bit in there. So I'm going to get that lovely soft beige colour going on. And over here, I'm going to cover up that little bubble that's there. It's too teeny tiny for me to stress about that one there by his eye. I'm just going to move you over. Um, we're going to put a little bit in there, that's a tuft of hair, like that, okay, and let's not forget his little paws, I just love his, his, his expression, they're very cute, so we're coming down here, I might just leave that very light there. Okay, so now we've got a bit of pencil base down. That'll help us when we do the rest of the colouring. Okay. And we're going to work our way up, I think. Is that how I did it? Uh, yeah, let's go in with... I don't know, I'm trying to think now. Let's go in with our darkest brown, which is umber. And let's put in where we want some of that really dark colour. So I want to cover... I'm going to cover that bubble... And I'm going to really bring his eyes out. Like and 
bring that shape of that eye out. Mind our bubble. Let's really concentrate on those eyes. So this is umber. Come down on his little muzzle. He's a grumpy little fellow, isn't he? And we'll come down there. Okay, I'm going to work backwards. So I'm going to blend that out now with the Van Dyke brown. We can add darker in later, but I don't want to. Just don't want to go too much. So I'm just going to put some little lines in. Put that up here. And a little bit in those tufts of that Van Dyke brown. Up here. Back of his ear. Okay, I might have to twizzle the book a bit. Like I say, we'll go back in. This is just going to be like our base. Let's get these colours in. Okay, next one is brownish beige. So I'm going to go in with that. And I'm, this time I'm just sticking and making sure I get those little lines, which the um, Pablo's are great for. Okay, we are going to go back in, don't panic, this is not the finished thing. I'm just kind of mapping out where I want that colour. It's beginning to come, look. Okay. Right, let's take the uh, cream now. Let's check I've got the right colour. Yeah. And we're going to bring that in. This will help us to blend, smooth things over, and give the correct tone. Okay, still haven't finished. <laughs> We're going to go back in. <clears throat> okay, so I'm now going to go back in with my umber. I'll just get a sip of tea. And I'm really going to start to work on deepening things up, especially around his nose. And up here. So, what his face is it like his muzzle, if that's what you call it, on a cat, I don't know. Darker. And then we're going to, we just lessen it off as we go up again. So Van Dyke Brown. Bring that down in his ear, the Van Dyke Brown. Okay, then we're going to go in with brownish beige. Put 
there. A little bit there. Okay. Then our light beige. I'll bring that down. So with that I can knock back any places that I think oh, might have gone a bit dark. There we go. Alright, so we've got his little face. Now, body. So we're going to do, we've got the base of the light beige. I'm going to work backwards. So I'm putting in um, brownish beige. And he's going to have a shadow under his chin. And I want to keep the rest of this quite light. We're going to put that on his paws. Miss out those little cute pads. Okay, bring that down a bit more. Okay, then we're going to go brownish beige and we're just going to go in but not going to come out as far as that uh, light beige. Okay, back in with the uh, light beige. Blend and smush and all those technical terms, those together. I hope they turn out as well as the practice ones did. Okay, right, then we're going up again to the Van Dyke Brown. And we're going to put that really, deepen up that shadow under the little fella's chin. A little bit of that on his, the bit of his paws here by the bath. Um, okay, we're going to go a little tiny bit of umber. Now we did have black, but on this one I don't think I'm brave enough to put it, put it on him. I'm going to go back in that ear, make that a bit darker. Okay. There we go. Right, now we're going to take the light beige again and go over this and bring that out can use that to blend and then let's go back in with cream and we'll put a little bit on his tummy up here okay. Back it. I'm just going in with the brownish beige again. There we are. Okay, put some cream in his ears before we do anything else. A little bit of cream in there. And then I'm going to take the pink that we used for the bubbles for the bubbles and the skin so the pink we use for bubbles and skin and I'm just going to sharpen it we will do another cat together so I'm giving him, I don't know if Siamese cats have pink noses but he's going to have one I think they have black don't they so and then where we've put that cream in which will keep that colour subtle just a little bit of pink in his ear rolls There we go. All right. Now his pads I'll do in a minute. I'm, I'm thinking, I don't know whether to do them pink. Yeah, I think we will. We'll just do them in that pink. Okay. Ah, I'm quite pleased with him. Eyes. Right, so we've got the pastel blue 
and the uh, bluish pale. So what I'm going to do, how did I do it? I kind of followed the contour of his eyes like that, put a little bit of blue in there and then a little bit of the bluish pale just blended that through just so we have a little bit of white showing there we go and the same with this one and then pastel blue and a little bit of Uh, bluish pale. Here we go. So we've got nice kitty cat eyes. Now I'm going to use um, a jelly roll glaze. Doesn't matter if you don't have one. Any black pen. Because we, I've gone over that, I'm going to put his the little pupils back in his eyes. Just so he remains that like, looking real mad. <laughs> okay. So shall we do that again? Should we do this little kitty cat here so you get the idea? So we're going to take the light beige and we're going to do a coat all over him, avoiding his eyes and his nose. So everywhere we want to put some colour. We'll do that. this little paw and this little paw and then we're going to put in are we going to do dark backwards um, I'm just putting them back in order so I don't pick the wrong pencil up okay umber so we can get our dark colours in so I'm going to go around his eyes again really bring the shape of that eye out they really are very beautiful looking cats aren't they Siamese now I don't know whether to just go over that mouth do you mind my gel pen I don't know, yeah, I don't know whether to just... I don't know whether to just go over or leave it. Let's try, anyway, we'll try... Leaving it there, like his little tongue sticking out. To start with. Can you see? So... This is just me putting where I think I want the colours with our umber. Don't overdo it because we can go back in and that's a mistake that I often make. I go too far and then it's too dark and there's nothing you can do about it. So our Van Dyke Brown, let's put that in, Gotta bring that up. Some up there. And his little tufty bits in his ears. Okay, we just smooth this out a bit. He's got a much rounder face, this one. I'm going to pull that up a little bit higher. Okay, then we're going to go in with brownish beige. This will help us smooth and bring out that lighter shade. Pablo's do have some incredible colours. They've also I would say, in my opinion, they've got quite a lot of colours missing that I would like to see in the set, but um, the colours they do have are beautiful. 
like this for example, this brownish beige, it's such a lovely colour. Okay, then we're going in with light beige, lost my list, <laughs> right in front of me. Let's go in with our light beige. Knock that edge back. I'm going to go back into my, I'm sorry, I'm going back to my umber. Just, there's a little patch there that's, let's darken that up. Let's deepen him up a bit. There we go. Bring that down. That's better. Okay. So I've just deepened that up, so I'll go back to my Van Dyke brown now. It just wasn't dark enough. There we go. That's a bit better. Bring that up a bit further. Give them more of a pointy face. Okay. Brown beige. Oh, brownish beige. Here we go. And let's add some cream. cream we'll put that in his ears and then um, if we go back to our light beige put that back over and then the cream stops it being too dark now we can add a little bit of black let's add a little bit of black Around those eyes, put in the ear, round that eye, a little bit round his nose, and up there, back in with our umber, His ear and that one. Let's fill that one in. Okay, sorry, gone all quiet. And then we'll take that pink, that's blue, we'll take that pink, put it in his ear. We've added the cream and that will stop it getting too dark. There we go. What do we think? Let's put his eyes in, then we can really see. Okay, let's do eyes. So, I'm going to make that bit the darkest. Then I'm going to use the palish, uh, the bluish pale. There we go, bring that out. So I'm going round his pupil. Like that. And then bring in that bluish pale in. There we are. We can have a little pink nose and a little pink tongue. Okay, now we just have to do his body. Oh, simples folks, simples. I think we did this before, but it won't do any harm, just run over. Okay, so <coughs> we need umber. No, I'm going to start backwards. So I'm going to do Van Dyke uh, brownish beige first and we'll build up his colours that way I'm not going to go in too dark a little bit in between there and up his arm because their bodies are a lot less 
have a lot less colour from the ones I've looked at anyway. Okay, then we're going to go in with um, brownish beige. No, we're not. We're going to go in Van Dyke Brown. <laughs> that was brownish beige. Okay, that's so umber, I've got to work back down again, Van Dyke Brown. So it's just a lot of fiddling and faffing as I like to call it, brown beige okay, light beige there we go, let's smush that in I really don't like the tongue, but never mind. Okay, so that's how they're going to be done. How cool is that? How cute is that? So his back, <clears throat> actually I could just do it with you because it's a bit different, isn't it? This one. Let's cover him in our light beige. Same as we've done all the others. I'm going to take, I'm going to work backwards with this one. So I'm going to put brownish beige. Now I'm going to go down the center of his back, all the way down to his nose, and we can build on that. So So just help us to know where to put our colour, really. Don't forget this is one of our palest colours. So we can really see then where the darks need to go. And they don't all have to be that dark. You can change up their tones. So on this one, I think I'm going to concentrate on his nose being a bit darker. So this is our Van Dyke Brown now, so I'm going to go around those eyes. <clears throat> Excuse my hand in the way of the numbers. down his back again. I'm just going to bring that um, Van Dyke Brown in. So he's got some dark spot behind his ears, a little bit into his body, on his leg. But just, I'm not going to go too dark with it. Okay, let's concentrate more on his face now. Ear roll, make that dark. Okay, now I'm switching back to our light beige. Oh no, sorry, brownish beige. There's so many beiges and browns. It's very confusing, people. and start, just fill his body up. Okay, light beige, yay, you got it right. Okay, blend that through. Okay, 
So I've added a little bit more pressure so that it darkens that colour up. Okay, and I'm going to go back to Umbar and make his nose just that little bit darker. Nose and round his eyes. And hopefully that will give the appearance that his face is a little bit more pointy. I don't think I'll put black on this one. We can come down with that in the centre there. Just deepen up some of these like little spaces where he's he's got shadow. Oh, I love this book so much. It's so cute. Just going to put a little bit of umber up there. <clears throat> and then Van Dyke Brown just to smooth that through. And then our cream. Cream in his ears. Again, so it doesn't get too dark when we put that pink in. Pink. And a little bit of pink in there. Alright. What do you think? They're very cute. Okay, let's do the eye again. So I'm going round the pupil with the pastel blue. And then going in with the bluish pale, just to give that beautiful look. All right, three Siamese cats. I'll do that one off camera, and then we will. Um, let's do the leaves while I'm here. Okay. Now, yes, right. These ones I'm doing in this color. These colors. So bluish green, olive green, and khaki green. I think that's right. Mm, I can't remember which way around it is, so I've got these ones as well. This one, yeah, okay. And then we've got dark green, spruce green, and moss green. Yeah, okay. So dark green to start with. I'm gonna find where my the darkest parts of my leaf are gonna be. And plop in that dark green. In there. Up there. Nice and easy. Nothing taxing. Okay, then we're going to switch to the spruce green. Bit of a brighter green than the, and then go in with moss. Okay, let's do this big one. So I'm going, I'm going to go up on this edge with the dark green. And once you've been in there and decided your colours, again, you can go back over, really darken up that dark green if you want to. Okay, going in with my spruce. Which is a much brighter green. Okay, and then we go in with moss. Let's fill up any of those spaces. Alright, so that's how that plant's going to be done. And then this one, which I really love. Um, 
we've got, like I say, bluish green, olive green and khaki green. So we're going to go in with our bluish green. I'm just checking I've got the right colours. It's been a while since I've used this set, sadly, because they're so beautiful. So I'm going to take the bluish green down on the stem. Then I'm going to come down the line and just a little bit at the top. I don't want too much of this. Just sort of love heart it, if that makes sense. So, on the stem, down the centre, and then make it into a love heart. Okay, then we're going in with the olive green. Go back over that, that dark green, or that um, bluish green, sorry. Go over that, change that tone. Okay, and then in with khaki green. And then use that to blend all those colours together. There. Okay, we put a little bit more of the bluish green in. I'm not sure I like that olive green in there with it. Shall we try it without the olive green? Oh, that's why. So I went back over, look, with the bluish green, which made it a darker green. And then I'm going to use the khaki over the top. That's what. Right, let's do this again. There's the, there was a reason for it. I couldn't find a green that I wanted. So this is what I was saying about the Pablos, how beautifully they mix. It's like having paint. So, if we do it again, we go down the centre, make our little love heart. There we go. Then we're going to take our olive green and go over that, which changes that tone and deepens it. And then if we go over the whole thing with the khaki green, and then bring in our bluish green back in. I think that's really quite a nice combination there. All right, does that make sense, folks? So I'm going to go off and finish all our leaves. And this little peeping fella down here, the same way as we've done all the others. And um, then we'll meet back up to do our little pots, which I haven't decided on yet. So this is where we are. Let me give you a reminder of those colours. Those leaves are that one. These leaves are this one and we will meet back up as soon as I've finished them. See you in a second. Okay, folks, here we are, our mischievous little Siamese cat. I have to say, they're all from the same family. <laughs> Siblings. Anyway, um, let's finish off our beautiful picture together. So, one of my favourite parts is finishing off with you. So, I'm taking, in theme with our bubbles, the salmon pink that we use will need to come in loosely, not out, in. And I'm going to do the pots in salmon pink. So I'm going to come in here dark. So just pressing on hard. And then as we come out towards the edge, we're going to lessen off the pressure. And let that tone fade out a little bit. Darker at the bottom. And just let that fade off. And, and we can add, making sure it's clean. I'll just sharpen my pencil. We can add a little bit of Prisma White. Can add a little bit of Prisma White to that. Excuse me. We're going to do the same with the all the pots actually. So I'm going in dark at the bottom with salmon, and then I'm going to let that fade up into that the yellow of that flame. That reminds me, we do need a little bit of orange in there. There we go. And then this pot here. We're still using the salmon pink. We're going to go 
dark underneath the lid, dark on this side and we're going to again lessen off the pressure as we come towards this side. We can just take a little bit of white again, just light, lighten that up. There we are. Now, the shelf I'm going to do in two tones of greys and then the Prisma white. So I've got grey which is 005, sorry about my writing there. Um, and I'm going to go in on the edge. I'm not using too much of this because it is quite dark. I'm going to go in behind those leaves. Around here. We're going to come right the way along the bottom with it. Soften that line out. And then we're going to go in with the light grey. Back over all of that. And then a little bit of Prisma, just to knock back anywhere I think it might be a little too dark. And obviously help us blend again. Okay, there's our shelf. And for a little bit of glitz and glamour, I have got, I don't know if it's working properly, I've tried to get it running, the silver Uniball Signo. Let me just check before I... Yeah, it's just very squeaky. So, on the bottom of this little sign... I'm not going all over it because I'll obliterate that yellow. I'm just going to put a little bit of the silver in there. It's got a beautiful sparkle to it. And then the lid of this pot, I'm doing silver. Nice and girly. There we go. Nice girly bathroom. Yeah, look at that sparkle. Oh. So pretty. Okay, now, one final thing. I'm taking diamond stickles, as usual. Let's come out a little bit and move the page up. Now, what I'm gonna do is run around the edge of the bubbles. So I'm just gonna get my stickles running. And I'm just gonna take, run a line of it, just round just underneath the white line of the gel pen and hopefully what that will do is pick up all those colours and we'll get gone a bit off there I'll just smush it up there and we'll get all those colours come through A little bit in that bubble, a little bit in that bubble. Now, am I going to be able to stop myself once I've started? Usually I can't, once I get the stickles flowing. That's why I go through bottles and bottles of it. I swear to God, I keep... Is it Ranger? Yeah, I keep Ranger in business with their diamond stickles, I could tell you. <laughs> we can have... No, don't, 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 don't mess. Looks like I'm going to have to order more. Now, I know I said that I was on, um, I was concentrating on our older books. Well, I am going to concentrate on our older books. I've got a cloggage. Um, but I did, and it's all Emma's fault, my friend on Instagram. Um, I did have to order a book, which is coming tomorrow. So, hopefully, I will get a flip through up of that. Ugh. It's just, I can't help it, folks. I do want to concentrate on our old, just a little bit in the water. I do want to concentrate on our old books. We've got so many beautiful 
older books that get sorely neglected. Um, <clears throat> there, I think. Have I bubbleized everything? No, look, missed one. And these guys. I'm just going to put a little bit round one side. Is that a bubble? Can have a little bit. There we go. Center of those. Right. Ooh. Okay. I keep finding ones I haven't done. All right. Now I. Do you think that that's done? I do think it's done. Let's see. <clears throat> right, I don't know if you can pick up on that sticker. So I've just run it just below the white line of the bubble and just put it on one edge of those. You'll see it much better when it's dry. So let me line him up, her up, sorry. And her little friends. What do you think, folks? I'm thrilled to bits with it. I absolutely adore this book. It's, I don't know what it is about it. Probably the size. Just everything is just the sketching. I love it. It's just adorable. Adorable. So, I hope you've enjoyed another colour colour with me. I'm going to get them up as often as I can. While I've got the energy to do so. Um... I know you've been a little bit neglected because I was so poorly, so I don't know, that took about 10 days, I think, didn't it, to get over this one. Um, but I'm back, and you're going to have to suffer. <laughs> anyway, folks, um, another page done in fur balls together. Look! Did I do that one? Yeah, I did. <laughs> another page done in the adorable fur balls. I love it. No doubt we'll revisit it again in the future. I hope you've enjoyed watching and listening to my waffle and rambles as usual, usually, as usual, a lot of wittering. But um, it is with great pleasure and much love. So anyway, until we meet again, pause. Oh, I'm sorry, folks, it's got to be done. Oh, now I've got to try and negotiate stickles. I can't leave it like that. That will bug me. How did I miss little paws out? That's ridiculous behaviour. <laughs> I think what it was, was um, my husband went and checked my car for me at work and the battery had died. I think it's just the cold weather. So um, he drove it, jumped it and drove it back. And then um, I drove him back down to pick his car up. So I was in the middle of colouring and then had to depart. So, ah, oh, I've smushed the stickles. Would you believe it? Okay, I'm happy now. Yes, little paws done. Right, I haven't done his pads. What is going on? Yeah, my excuse is that I had to go and fetch the car. I'm sticking with that excuse. There we go. Right, leave. <laughs> all right folks so this time for good <laughs> if you um uh what was i saying yes so until we meet again really soon take really good care of yourselves night night <laughs>